Hello, we're back again for week three of online music with Mr. McKinnon. And we're going to start today with, just like last week, uh, two games where you need lots of space. The first game we're going to revisit, Have You Ever, Ever, Ever? And the second game is brand new. I am aware that so many of you had so much fun with Have You Ever, Ever, Ever? I know that some of you were trying it with your parents. I know that lots of you um, uh, were uh, trying it all throughout the week. Uh, and it's so much fun. I really enjoyed um, showing it to you last week. We're going to do it again. We're just going to do it the one time. And of course, you can rewind it and do it as many times as you want. And then we're going to look at our next game. Okay, so let's do Have You Ever, Ever, Ever. Of course, you should know it because I'm sure we all watched the video from last week, from week two. So make sure you've got all your space around you. And remember the first one is, have you ever, ever, ever in your long legged life? The next one is going to be, have you ever, ever, ever in your short legged life? And the last one is, have you ever, ever, ever in your cross legged life? And then on the fourth time we do it, we put all of them together. It will go, it will go long-legged life, seen a short-legged sailor with a cross-legged wife. Here we go. Have you ever, ever, ever in your long-legged life seen a long-legged sailor with a long-legged wife? No, I've never, ever, ever in my long-legged life seen a long-legged sailor with a long-legged wife. Have you ever, ever, ever in your short-legged life seen a short-legged sailor with a short-legged wife? No, I've Never, ever, ever in my short-legged life seen a short-legged sailor with a short-legged wife. Have you ever, ever, ever in your cross-legged life seen a cross-legged sailor with a cross-legged wife? No, I've never, ever, ever in my cross-legged life seen a cross-legged sailor with a cross-legged wife. All of them together. Have you ever, ever, ever in your long-legged life seen a short-legged sailor with a cross-legged wife? No, I've never, ever, ever in my long-legged life seen a short-legged sailor with a cross-legged wife. Hooray! We did it! Good job. We're going to look at our next game, and it's based on a song that you will probably know, called London Bridge. London Bridge is falling down, falling down. Falling down, London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. I'm sure you've heard that before. And we're going to make our game work around it. So, again, you need lots of space around you. And you need to be able to clap and stomp. So you don't need actually loads of space to the side. But you do need to be standing up somewhere. Okay, so here's what it will look like at the end. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Okay, so what I did there was, every time we had a two-syllable word, I clapped my hands. And then every time it was a one-syllable word, I stomped my foot. It doesn't matter which foot you stomp, um, but try to stomp um, each foot alternatively. Okay, so when we put that together, of course, the first word, London, is two syllables. So it goes London, and you have to clap. And then bridge is just one syllable, so it goes, is falling, falling is two syllables, down, just one, 
falling, back to clap again, down, stop your other foot, falling, and then down, one syllable, London, two syllables, bridge is falling, down, my fair lady, like that. And when you put it up to speed, it goes like this. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Shall we try and make it go even faster? Oh, I don't know. I've never actually tried it that fast before, any faster than that. Okay, here we go. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. <laughs> okay, I think I, I don't think I made a mistake. Uh, if you uh, think that was a bit too hard going that fast, then rewind, have a go at it at the slower speed. You don't even need me in front of you to do this. Pause the video and, and have another go. See if you can do do it without me, see if you can do it with one of your parents, see if you can do it with one of your uh, brothers or sisters, or, of course, as always, try it on your own instead. And I would love to see your attempts at London Bridge, so um, feel free to send me any videos that your parents have taken you, of course, get parents' permission, and then send me any videos that you think would be quite funny, you think I'd quite enjoy watching. Uh, that'd be great. Okay, we're gonna go to the chair. Let's revisit something else that we have worked on and this was two weeks ago, this was way back in week one. We did a game called High Low Chickalo. Can you remember it? Again, you should remember it because it was only two weeks ago and you should have watched the video. If you can't quite remember, you can always go back to the video number one and see if you can remember. But High Low Chickalo was a game where you have one hand like this and then one hand was up above and then it goes below and it also goes in the middle. And what we did was we went high low chick a low chick a low chick a low high low chick a low chick a low high. This time when we go high and when we go low can you click? If you can't click then obviously you're not going to click you can just pretend. Um, but it might it might help uh, if we can click. See so let's go. Hi low, chick a low, chick a low, chick a low. Hi low, chick a low, chick a low. Hi. You might also remember that we reversed it. We went from low to high. Low high, chick a high, chick a high, chick a high. Low high, chick a high, chick a high. Low. And finally, we're going to do both, and we're going to make them go really fast. Here we go. Starting with high. High low, chick a low, chick a low, chick a low. High low, chick a low, chick a low. High low, high, chick a high, chick a high, chick a high. Low high, chick a high, chick a high. Low. Good for you. You did it. We are now going to do our final part of the lesson, which is always um, our writing task or our music writing task. And I know that last week we didn't, I didn't ask you to write. I asked you to just watch and to choose. And well done if you got them all right, the multiple choice rhythm activity. But today you do need a pencil and some paper. So if you need some time to get a pencil and paper, then pause the video now and come back uh, once you've got them. Okay, so if you've just jo rejoined us with your pencil and paper, then let's just remember, let's try and remind ourselves about the three kinds of notes that we've gone over. And one of them wasn't really a note, it was more of just a silence. Okay, so, We'll start off with this one. Tell me its name. Shout it to me. It's called
T. Did you shout crotchet? Because crotchet was also correct. Um, and also, what about these? What are these called? Did you say... Coffee? Maybe you said quavers? Because both are correct. And finally, what about... Oops. That. There's only one answer for this. What's it called? It's called... Rest. What does tea, coffee, shh, rest have in common? What do they all have in common? Hmm. The answer is each of these types of rhythm notes all are one beat. They're all one beat. But not all notes are one beat. You can get notes that last longer and you can get notes that last uh, shorter than one beat. And I want to show you a note that lasts for two beats. Do you know what a two beat note is called? Hmm. A two beat note looks a little bit like a little bit like a crotchet but the difference is we don't colour it in it's white and this one is black if it's coloured in it means it lasts for one if it's not coloured in it means it lasts for two what is it called hmm we call this note well they've got two it's got two different names we can call it the real name, which is called a minim. Or today we're going to call it T E T E because it lasts for two. One, two. T E. So we have tea, coffee, rest, tea. And this is the first one that we've spoken about that doesn't last for one. And if we were to clap a two beat note, we don't do this. We don't do that, we don't clap two times because that would be tea, tea. What we do is we go tea. Like that. T E. A little bit like have you. Just like that. Have you. For have you ever, ever, ever. So we go T E. T E. Because those notes actually were minims. They were two beat notes. They were T E notes. Have you. They were two. So we go, instead of going T, T, we go T E. T E. One, two, one, two like that. So if that's the rule, then if I draw you this rhythm, can you clap it? And just by magic, it's going to appear now. Ta-da! Here's your rhythm. Can you clap it? And remember what to do when it's a two beat note. Hmm. Okay, let's see. It goes like this. T, T, is that what you clapped? T, T, coffee. That's the rhythm that I drew there. T, T, coffee. How many beats does my rhythm add up to? Hmm. How many beats does my rhythm add up to? What does it equal? If this was maths and it went this, plus this, plus this. What would the answer be? Hmm. It is, of course, four beats. 
2 plus 1 plus 1. Did you get 4? Well done if you got 4. Remember these are 1 beat. This is 1 beat and this is 2 beats. Ready for another rhythm? Here it is. Ta-da! Here is rhythm number two. So, how would you clap this rhythm? Hmm. If you want to pause the video and have a go, you can. Or, if you want to try it with me now, let's do it. This rhythm goes like this. Coffee, tea, tea, coffee. I'll do that again. It goes, coffee, tea, tea, coffee. Did you get it right? Coffee, tea, tea, coffee. How many beats does this one add up to? And I'm going to give you a clue. The answer is not four. How many beats does it add up to? Did you get this answer? I don't think I can draw this number upside down. The answer is of course, It's five because we've got one plus two plus one plus one. And that's five. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Okay, so now I hope you've got your pencil and your paper ready um, because we're going to be doing a little bit of note writing. I want you to try it yourself. So earlier on, we did the game Hi, Lo, Chicka, Lo. Hi, Lo, Chicka, Lo. And your challenge today is, what's the rhythm of high low chickalo? High low chickalo, 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 high low chickalo, chickalo, high. There's four parts to it. There's four lines. So if I do one, two, three, and four, and you can do the same. You can do them. So line number one was high low chickalo. Mm. It's going to either be T coffee, tea, or rest. So, I want you to, on the top here, on number one, I want you to write down what you think the rhythm is for high, low, chicka, low. Okay? And I want you to pause the video to give yourself some time. No! Okay, now we're going to look at the answer for the first line. So the first one started off with high, just that one word, high. So, that's going to be a one beat note, T, high, and then low. It's the same rhythm. High, low, they're the same length. So it's another T. High, low, chicka. Mm. High, low, chicka. What do you think chicka is? Chicka is going to be coffee. High, low, chicka. Here we go. And what's the last part of that line? High, low, chicka, low. It's going to be another one beat note, isn't it? Is this the line that you got? Is this what you wrote down? Have a look at your paper. Is this what you wrote? Did you do tea, tea, coffee, tea? That's the first line. Time for a second line. The second line is chicka, low, chicka, low. Okay, pause the video if you want to give yourself a bit of time to do that. For the second line, how do you draw? Chicka low, chicka low. What will you be writing? Okay, if you're back now, if you've done that already, here's the answer. So it's chicka low, chicka low, chicka, chicka. That's quite quick, isn't it? The rhythm's quite quick. And that's coffee, isn't it? Of course it is. Chicka is coffee. Low. I think we know that low is a... T note, chicka low, and then it's again, chicka low, it's the same thing again, chicka low, chicka low, like that. Is this the answer that you got? Did you write this down? Chicka low, chicka low, coffee tea, coffee tea. Well done if you got that one correct. Number three, I'm going to give you a clue. Number three is the same as one of these. It's the same as either number one or number two. It goes high, low, chicka, low. Mm. Which one is it? 
give you a minute to pause and write down your answer. And if you're back now after drawing it, hopefully you understood and you remembered and you recognized that it's the same as line number one. So I'm just going to draw on line number one again. Line number one is high, low, and of course I'm not being very neat and I hope you're being much more neat than me. Chicka, low. We've got the first three lines done, everybody. Have you got the same as me? High, low, chicka, low. It's the same as the top line. High, low, chicka, low. The last line is a bit different. The last line goes, Chickalo high. Mm. Chickalo high. Pause the video and see if you can figure out the last line. And if you're back now after pausing and writing down, here's the answer for Chickalo high. So, Chicka, Chicka, we know, is that quick rhythm. So, that's going to be coffee, Chicka, like that. Chicka, low, what's low? Low is a one day note, it's a T note. Chicka, low. Mm -hmm. And what about that last one? Hi, hi. Are you so clever? Did you realize that that is a two beat note? So we don't color it in, it goes Hi, like when we clapped our hands and we shook. Hi, like that. Have you got what I've got? Move this thing away. Check that yours looks like mine. Hopefully you've got almost the exact same or possibly everything correct. Let me know in the comments how well you did. Let's just see if we've got the right rhythm. Okay, so rhythm number, uh, rhythm number one, all the way down to rhythm number four. High, low, chick a low, chick a low, chick a low. High, low, chick a low, chick a low. High. Good job today. It's great that we learned this new rhythm note here called T. And of course, the real word for it that musicians use is minim. So we've got minims, crotchets, and clavers. What did we not use in this rhythm? What did we not use at all? We didn't use at all a rest. I oh, didn't draw that very well, but we didn't draw a rest at all. That rest does not feature in high, low, chickalo. So well done if you didn't draw any rests. Okay, we've reached the end of our music lesson for this week. And just a reminder again that I absolutely love when you send in your videos of your attempts at the games. I especially would love to see how well you get on with um, the, the London Bridge game that we tried today. And also, as usual, comment below when you've watched the video. And you can either just say, watch the video. Or if you want to be even kinder, you can say what you enjoyed about the video or perhaps anything that you struggled with. And that's something that perhaps we can look at a bit more next time. Anyway, have a really good rest of your week. Be good, listen to your parents, stay safe. See you next time.